Some guys say HIG, you hear that, they're basically telling you that you need to understand user experience, you need to understand the pixels, the size, the dimensions, the portrait, the landscaping on all the apps that you're building for iOS. Vector graphics can be scaled up as big as a building and as small as an app icon. So um, I would suggest learning some of the vector graphic programs. Illustrator is the most important one to go in and get into. On the iPhones, when you build apps, if you can think about the phones being real estate, that's gonna give you the opportunity to know that your stuff's gotta stand out above, what, 50 apps, 60 apps? I got like 70 online. You gotta make sure that your stuff stands out. So I can sit down here and show you guys how to develop in Swift, which is just not a problem. I could, I, I'll do that in a day for you guys. But you ultimately need to know these things because you're gonna think you can build an app, or you're gonna tell somebody you can build an app, and they're gonna come up with stuff like this, and you're gonna say, dang, well, what am I supposed to do next? And now you know, I need to grab a backend guy. And if they say, I want to, I want to, I don't just want an iOS app, I want an Android. Now you got to find a Java guy, right? Because they're not going to just go with one type of app. So if you're going to make it a career, make sure that when you guys go to the table or you're talking to somebody, that these are the things that you remember. You know what? I can build an iOS app, but if you're going to ask me for server side stuff, we're going to have to pull in one of the guys that knows the database. We're going to have to pull in one of the guys that knows Amazon. From, instead of from the parse system, they're going to come from the Firebase system now. But if you were going to build an app and you wanted push notifications, if you don't know where that stuff comes from, you're just going to expect that developer, or you're going to, they're going to expect you as a developer to just come up with it, right? So I'm telling you guys right now where that comes from. So when you say an iOS app being developed, you're using still different bits and pieces from all over the place, right? 